potentiometer to find the resistance and resistivity of a coil of wire the apparatus provided is the potentiometer apparatus to take the readings we are having the galvanometer rheostat battery cell etc are there from the principle of potentiometer as you all know when an emf is applied in the secondary circuit the emf e is proportional to the balancing length so when a current i flows through a coil of unknown resistance x the potential difference across the unknown resistance is ix so when this potential difference is given or applied in the secondary of the potentiometer circuit we can write the relation ix proportional to l1 now when the same current is flowing through a non resistance r the potential difference across it is ir and if l2 is the balancing length then from the principle of potentiometer ir is proportional to l2 now from these two expressions dividing expression 1 by 2 we are getting x by r that is equal to l1 by l2 and from that the unknown resistance x can be written as the non resistance r into l1 by l2 where l1 and l2 are the balancing length that we obtain in the potentiometer for the resistance x and for the resistance r so using this formula we can calculate the unknown resistance with the help of potentiometer again if small r is the radius of the wire that we used and if capital l is the length then the resistivity is given by pi r square x by l so we already de determined the value of x then using this formula we can calculate the resistivity of the material of the wire that is pi r square x by l now in our circuit diagram of the potentiometer you can see this is the potentiometer wire ab and between a and b we are connecting the primary circuit which consists of an accumulator e here and a key and a rheostat that is the primary circuit now in the secondary circuit we can see an ohms law circuit is here a resistor x that is connected in series with r and a voltage source e and a rheostat by changing the rheostat moving the rheostat we can change the current in this particular circuit now this x is connected with the help of a six way key here we are using a six way key and using the six way key the x is connected to two terminals so when we insert say the key 1 and 2 here what happens that x is included or the pd across x that is ix is included and the balance length l1 is obtained now if you want to include r in the circuit we are using the other two keys say the key 3 and 4 are used when 3 and 4 is inserted and 1 and 2 are open then r is included in the circuit that means the pd ir is included and the balance length is l2 okay galvanometer is here and the jockey is connected so that is the experimental arrangement of the circuit now in the procedure we are doing the connections Uh, initially uh, using the six way key the resistance x is included and the corresponding balancing length l1 is determined then it is changed to the resistance r r is included and the corresponding balance length l2 is determined so you can write in the tableau column when we are using say in the trial number 1 for a particular position of the rheostat the balance length l1 is determined similarly the balance length l2 is determined then from that we can determine the value of x that is equal to r l1 by l2 this is our apparatus and the experimental setup to determine the value of unknown resistance x the potentiometer apparatus which consists of 10 meters of wire which is wind between the two terminals a and b and between a and b we are connecting the primary circuit which consists of an accumulator the positive of the accumulator is connected to a negative of the accumulator is connected to a rheostat and the rheostat is connected to a key and that is to b so that is known as the primary circuit 
Now in the uh, secondary circuit is included with the help of a six way key here, a six way key. Now from the center top of the six way key, A is connected and the other end is connected to a galvanometer and the galvanometer is connected to a jockey and that jockey can be moved over the potentiometer wire. Now in the secondary circuit, that is an Ohm's law circuit, a standard resistance R of 1 ohm is here that is connected to the unknown resistance. This is the unknown resistance X or the coil. We, are, we want to find out the resistance of this coil. So the resistance is connected in series with the coil. Now it is connected to a power supply. A power supply is here, then a key and a rheostat. Now by varying this rheostat, the current through this particular circuit, the secondary circuit can be changed. The current through the secondary circuit can be changed by varying the position of the rheostat. So initially, we insert the keys in the first two gaps, that means X is included. Now to check the connections, <laughs> uh, if the connections are correct or not, now the jockey is kept in contact with the first row or near to the point A, then you can see that the galvanometer shows a left side deflection. When the jockey is given contact somewhere near to the point B, you can see the galvanometer is giving a deflection to the right side. That means our connections are correct. Now we can find out the uh, balance in length. That means zero deflection point. So somewhere near, we are getting the zero deflection point. It is moving uh, left and right side of the zero. We can see that while we are moving on this line, it is moving on the left hand, uh, left and right of the zero. Now for this particular position, for this particular position, we can see the galvanometer shows almost a zero deflection, or the deflection is zero. Now here there is a deflection, on the next line also there is a deflection, but at this particular point, the galvanometer is showing zero deflection. So this is the point corresponds to uh, the balance in length, and here it is on the eighth line, it is going to 900. Now the reading corresponds to this one, uh, is uh, say 848. So we obtain a balance length of 848 centimeter uh, for the unknown resistance X. Now keeping the same position of rheostat, we include the resistance R in the circuit, R is included here and find out the balance length. Now we are checking to find out the balance length, now we are in the first line, left side deflection, second, third line, right side deflection. So on the second line, the deflection is practically zero. Now we can exact point we can find out, now this is the point. Now here we can see on the first line there is a deflection on the left side, on the third line there is a deflection on the right side, second line at this particular point uh, the deflection is zero. Now this point corresponds to a distance of say now uh, it is 100 and uh, 148 centimeter. So we obtain L1 and L2, 846 L1 and L2 148. So we can calculate the value of uh, X that is R L1 by L2. Now for different position of the rheostat, for different position of the rheostat, the experiment is repeated and the readings are tabulated. Now this given wire, this, this is a coil, this coil is having a length of 100 centimeter and with the help of a screw gauge, we can find the diameter and the radius of the wire. So using that radius value, and the length of the wire, we can calculate the resistivity of the material of the given coil of wire. So that is about the uh, potentiometer experiment to calculate the unknown resistance X and the specific resistance rho. Now let us come to the observations that we obtained to find the unknown resistance X in the first trial. That means for the first uh, a particular position of the rheostat, we obtain the distances as 846.5 L1, that is the balance length corresponds to the unknown resistance X and the balance length corresponds to the known resistance R is L2 that is 148, then we obtained X value that is R L1 divided by L2 that is equal to 5.7196. Now it is repeated, for, that means for another position that is the rheostat is moved. Then we obtain the balance lens for X and R as 835.5 and 146. Then X is calculated 5.7191. Uh, now it is repeated third time. 
again it is repeated fourth one fifth one sixth one and seventh one and eighth one in each case we obtain l1 and similarly l2 and the x is calculated and we obtain the mean value of x as 5.7218 ohm then using the uh, screw gauge we determined the radius of the given wire uh, we are obtaining the diameter pitch scale reading is taken head scale reading is taken uh, corrected hsr is noted and then uh, the corrected value of uh, diameter is obtained and the mean diameter we obtain 0.52 mm from that radius of the wire is 0.26 we already obtained the value of x 5.7218 and the length of the given wire is 100 cm that is 1 meter now we are calculating the value of rho that is pi r square x by l and after calculation we obtained the rho value as 1.2145 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 6 ohm meter so that is the resistivity of the material of the given wire so the result of the experiment is the resistance of the given wire is 5.7218 and the resistivity is 1.2145 into 10 to the power of minus 6 ohm meter